Welcome inside our San Francisco studios for official business. I'm Mike Am, joined by the head of Pac-12 officiating, David Coleman. David, it is always a pleasure to go over some of those plays over the last few weeks and examine yes. some of the things that we're seeing on the football field. A lot of times when you stop by with us, there's a theme. And we've done player safety before, but we're going to focus in, at least with these first two plays, on what happens to the quarterback. And we're always okay. highlighting what it seems to be like that vicious big hit. But mm -hmm. take me through this particular play here. We're, we're into protecting the quarterback, but we also want to give the quarterback the opportunity to make the play. In, in this play, you can see he's tied up around the legs, but he's still, he's still got his balance. He can still get the ball off, so we let it go. Uh, and some people say you should stop that. Others people, other people say that you shouldn't stop that. You know, and in the Civil War, the officials let this play out. It was the yes. completion of Darren Carrington. In your mind, that's okay. That was, a, that was a good play. My concern, as I saw the play live, was whether or not his knee was down when he threw the ball. I saw no problem with the hit or the, or the wrapping of the legs. He, he was still playing. All right, our next play involves the Oregon Ducks, but on defense to force Buckner going at Luke Falk. Now, the officials, they do blow this dead. Why? They blew this dead, and I think that it's, it's okay to do that, although he still had his legs also, but the fact that he was falling backwards uh, is a little bit of a, a red flag in terms of something possibly happening that, that wouldn't be good. Uh, and we, we, we blew it dead. Uh, we were okay doing that. Uh, we could have let that go as well. Uh, the reason I show these plays is we have certain things that we talk about after the season. Yeah. We get together with the coaches and the general managers in the spring, and we put these types of plays up and we discuss them, and then we kind of get a consensus of how do we want to handle these things. Everybody signs up and then we go forward in, in the manner that we decide as to how we officiate these in the future. And with the Vernon Adams play compared to the Luke Falk play, what are the officials being told? What's the message to them? Because obviously Adams is going forward. They don't blow it, blow it dead. You had sort of pointed that out. The Luke Falk is falling back yes. on that particular play. How much of a factor is that? It's, it's a minor factor. It's all about judgment. Okay. And it's all about what is happening to the quarterback right then and what might be happening to the quarterback. You saw some more players around Falk, and, and that could have had something to do with, with the decision that the referee made. It's always funny because you guys as officials, I mean, you know what it's like. You've, you've been out on the field before. Yes. The heckling that comes, people always pointing out what goes wrong as opposed to what happens correctly. And yet broadcasters, it's easy for us to sometimes criticize. They don't always get it right. I want you to take a listen to this. Well, the play that nullified a 12-yard run and made it second and 15 was five men in the backfield. One, two, three, four, and here's the fifth. Now, the rule is that his head has to break the center's waistline. It does not, and that is your fifth man in the backfield. All right, so illegal formation is what, what, the, what our broadcasters are saying. What are you seeing? It is an illegal formation, but not what, with what it was described. Uh, you saw the numbering there. There are, there are five players in the backfield, the quarterback, running back, uh, two wideouts, a slot back who goes in motion. That player, that offensive tackle on the right side of the line was borderline, but he was okay. So they were looking at counting the, the wrong players. They were correct in terms of counting one to five. I mean, you got to give them kudos at yeah, least for but, that aspect. <laughs> but you got to count the right ones. <laughs> ID and the wrong players, though, that potentially could be an issue. David, it is always great having you stop by with us. Always on our great set. to be here, Mike. Thank you.